Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here, and welcome to another part of my Let's Play of Spyro Reignited Trilogy. And yes, as you can see, well... Well, that is not very nice, isn't it? Oh, okay. I forgot to... Whoa. Hold up. This is a Let's Play of Spark. The guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. So, uh, yes, this is Spyro Re... Oh, almost... My, my, my desk set up. Oh, jeez, what is going on here? Sorry, guys. Jeez. Look at this unprofessional Let's Play environment here. This is Spyro Reignited Trilogy, and we are playing as, believe it or not, yes, we are playing as Spyro the Dragon. I am not playing as Sergeant Burr. That was just a, a little gag to start the part off. And we're here to complete Aquaria Towers. First things first. Let some water in. Let it let it, uh, let it chill out a bit. Um, yes, we're here to do Aquaria Towers, which is honestly a really a great level. One of the more iconic Spyro 2 levels, I think. Um, you know, it's it's water-based. Some people may like that, some people may not. Um, to me, I think that it's actually, you know, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's, it's a level that is so, to me, famously, it's like so much, so famously glitched now that like I have not actually played it legitimately in pr pretty much forever. Yeah, I'm just gonna pretty much say that I have not played the level properly, like 100% properly, probably in at least five years. Um, we're not gonna be able to do the particular glitches that you can do in the original game because they've, I, as far as I know, they've, like as far as I know, they've, they've like canted them. Um, but, you know, still, yeah. Aquaria Towers is, of course, it is the, is a paired level with the, uh, what's it called, uh, Sunny Beach. That is indeed the, the pair level. Um, and as you can see, there's kind of, sort of, yeah, well obviously there's, there's the same enemies somewhat, uh, not the, yeah, sheep notwithstanding. What I mean to say, these guys over here obviously returning. Uh, the crabs there aren't, no, there aren't really the crabs in the, in Aquaria Towers, or, sorry, in Sunny Beach, but it's, I don't know. The swimming mechanic, uh, I didn't really talk about it that much in Idle Springs. It's, it's, it's decent. It's nothing compared to the original, like, the, the way the original is done. It's just brilliant. This is still pretty good. A pretty good emulation, I'd say. Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. Oh, I no. I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. What am I supposed to say no? Suit yourself. Just don't go swimming through the tunnel. Those metal sharks are quite indestructible. Thank Hi, you, Manu. A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shotproof. I guarantee it. Now imagine if it wasn't. That'd be such a meme. So yes, now we can traverse through this. And yeah, it's got an interesting mechanic in that, you know, you... These are enemies that Spyro can't defeat. Really the first of their kind, if you think about it in the series, where, you know, at this point, where it's like you actually cannot defeat them, there is nothing you can do except, except, of course, uh, having, uh, you know, the Super Flame, which we're gonna get a bit later. Spoiler alert, in case, for the, for the 0.001%, like for the not even human that doesn't understand that. Everyone knows, well. I, I still have yet to ever have that comment that has been like, yeah, I've never played Spyro, like commenting on a Spyro video. Like that would be iconic. The thing is, watch the camera when you when you do all this. It's just it's not quick enough to keep up. That's the one thing. So Spyro always gets sort of caught behind the camera. And that's the problem with when you do 3D games and stuff like that. Like sort of modern. They don't, you know, these are little things that probably weren't ironed out before. Yeah, it's definitely, the camera work is definitely, it's, it's, it's a massive weak spot in the game, if you ask me. In Reignited. I have people like Keyford and people like that in the ISGP tournament. Keyford's like one of the few guys that's like, oh no, like the camera works so good in this. And I love that you can move it up and down. Don't get me wrong, that part's awesome. 
But Our yeah. World is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. Thank you, Hoppo. And that's now all of them. Now, the cool thing about this level, again, this is like the other, other unique aspect of Aquaria Towers is that, yeah, basically after this, you get this massive big open air area. Um, which makes you wonder where this actually is situated within Avalon and stuff like that, this, you know, under the ocean sort of thing. You get this beautiful area where you can just, yeah, basically go around and, um, you know, get a bunch more gems that are all hiding around, like I'm sure I'm going to be looking around after. We also have a challenge, our first appearance of the Manta Ray. And it is Hunter being Hunter as usual. Jeez, I hate this camera. I've been trying to tame my new pet Manta Ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back. Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the bubble rings as they appear. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. <sighs> Makes him sound like he's a robot. Alright, you know what? It's funny, I actually haven't done this because I don't think I actually did this when I originally streamed Reignited. So this is actually like the first time doing this because, yeah, I, as I said, I've like just, I just play the original so much more. Which I know some people don't like that, some people do, but I just, yeah. Well done. I That's cool. That's good. That was well that. controlled. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. So I love it. It's just like, okay, we're doing this challenge because I just want to train up the mantra. It's got nothing to do with stopping Ripto. I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take like, him through a harder course? Sure, bro. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. I actually love the seahorse designs though, they're very very cute. But it's amazing to me to see the progress of toys for Bob though. Like, oh jeez, camera. The, it's great to see the progress of toys for Bob because this, you know, Reignited does look pretty good overall. But like, wow, like some of the thematic stuff they've done for Crash 4 is phenomenal. And I almost want, like it makes me want to see like a new Spyro now from them. But I think we'll probably get it from Beanox, but yeah, there we go. 17 out of 17. Incredible! You've got real talent. I Thank can you. Use a partner like you. Yes. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper too. He's just he just had two orbs in his flippers. Like he's hoarding orbs. He's an orb hoarder. He's actually the real heel. He's like a real bad guy. Heel is a uh, wrestling term for bad guy, basically. All right, now we've got another challenge, and I'm going to do this one for the first time since I'm going to say 2015 or 14 or whenever I did the original LP. All right. Actually, you know, I never end up doing a Spyro 2 Reignited. Uh, sorry, I never did a Spyro 2 LP, like, again, like, I never did a retrospective. Which means I didn't do a re-retrospective either. Alright, now, actually, fun fact, before I go into this next challenge, I've got a question for you guys. You guys may have seen the Spyro 3 double jump hack thing now, where you can do that. Would you guys want to see me do a Spyro 3 Let's Play with the double jump? Yes or no? I'm probably going to say yes anyway, but yeah, question. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and have hidden them in the top of each of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast open the tower doors. In order. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. Don't you love how much of an arbitrary goal that is? It's like, these six towers allow you to do this. Okay, there you go. There's the first one. It's like, yes, each one blows up with the associated number. Video games, am I right? Now, where was that one? Here. So look carefully where they are. Oh, uh-oh. This is going to be bad. I'm going to die, I can guarantee it. All right, there's three at the start of the level, looks like. Turns off when they're done. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, um, anything else around here? Probably, probably is some stuff. I'm just going to have a quick squeeze. Just going to have a quick squeeze around just to make sure I'm not missing anything significant. If I am, I'll come back, but... I think we're up. Oh, oh, yes, these ones. Right here. Right here, right here, right here. Alright. Cool. Now, let's head... Back to, not back to the balloon, but yeah, no, as I was saying about Aquaria Towers, um, it's one of the more open-ended levels, and that's what makes it, I think, a really good level, and there's just a lot to do, and, you know, the, the, the tasks are very varied, 
within that. So I think that's very, you know, that's something that, that's, that's something that you want to see. Now, what I also want to see is me going back down here. All right, let's go to number three, right here. Uh oh, it's turning on, mate. Oh, it's just an anna, it's just a crab. There's number four. Actually, I used to think that these were like way more hidden. I remember as a kid when I was looking around, like, what am I doing? What do I do? But it's actually not that bad. Oh, should have got that, but I missed. Oh. Damn it. Yes. I got there. I got, you know what I did? I got there through just like, what's the word? Um, basically, like, it's being able to power through and like you still get, you know, you don't have, it doesn't count sort of thing. All right, anyway, let's get this old pal here. Oh God, seriously, it feels like I'm playing a bloody first-person game from here. All right. Let's go over here. Where's the enemy? Thank you. Yeah, I need to. Is this going to be... This is going to be 14, isn't it? This is going to be number 14. Yep, of course it was. Of course it was. Because I missed all this. Oh, man. I'm a, a poopy head, as they say. A John, John Cena... Uh, was it to JBL as poopy? Just classic WWE PG era garbage, but, you know... What can I say? Alright, let's go back and we'll actually come around here. Yes. Okay. Ready? Go, go, go. Oh, man. That one. It's a sacrifice. You know what? It's the Shrek guy. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Alright, so it's six in a level. And this is good because it allows us to pretty much chronologically complete the level. So what I'll do... Let's go over here and then come through here, get the shark stuff. Sharknado. Shout out Sharknado. I heard they did like four or five movies. Alright, here we go. Oh, pff. terrible. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going back. I'm. I'm... Jeez. I'm flabbergasted, guys. I needed to get that field of view hack thing on again. Got to be careful here, they will get you, they will chase you. There we go. So I just want to clear out this area, because then we're going to go back through the other way. Oh, up here. Yes. Don't forget these, because remember, you've got to fill up the entire room and then come back. I think we're all good. By the way, notice the music, right? The really cool, you know, rendition of this track. They're using this. They're using some of the same effects, which is really, really great. Um, the distorted reality two loops, basically, they're in there. I should be using it more in my own music, to be honest. But yeah, they're really. I love those sounds. Those sounds are just absolutely magnifique. Right. There we go. I actually like the designs of the sharks, but they're a little bit. A little bit soft in comparison to the like showman. Uh oh, uh oh. They feel a bit soft, like I guess maybe when you shoot them, they don't feel like they explode as much. Maybe it's just like not as much of an oomph with the super, you know, the underwater super flame. I don't know. I don't know if it's just maybe it's just me. Oh, don't have sparks, so that's probably why I'm missing all this. That's all good. Yep, very good. Okay, 1659. Okay, so not quite all of them yet, but we will find them. If it's the last thing I do, oh, here you go. Is it this one? Is it this one? Two? Got him. Oh, okay. You know what, guys? That's a, that's a solid effort. Now, I'm going to die doing this. You know what? I'm, I'm actually, I don't want to take that risk. I legit don't want to take the risk. I'm gonna go over here, try and get least. There we go. Sorry, sheep. I'm gonna go one more sheep as well. An extra life too. See if we, see if we actually say anything more, but I don't think it can. Oh, huh, that's a shame. Give me more secret dialogue, guys. Right. Here we go, number six. Here we go. Oh, and actually, 
I just remembered I am missing one other thing. The skill point. You did it! Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you're collecting orbs. Please take this one. The rumors are true, King Flippy. The rumors are true. It's out there now. I'm officially looking for orbs. You're one of the last to know. Now I forgot about these. All orbs collected. Now we need yeah, we need a super damn it, we need a super flame him. I always forget where the exit is, by the way. Where is it? Here we go. Alright. So you gotta come down here. I usually I miss I feel like again I haven't done the skill point in liter literally a decade. Literally. Legit. Okay. I like it that they are they are they're different to the original uh, the original green color. They're actually they're very 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 prominent. Here we go. There we go. How many more are there? Oh, we're running out of time. Running out of time. Running out of time. Damn it. Uh, is that it for this area, or it's... That was, that was quoting a Tyler Creator song, by the way. And I am happy about it. I haven't heard that one for ages. That was, that was a decent album. That, that pink album. I'm not talking about the Filthy Frank pink album, either. Alright, so... Let's now see... Anything missing around here? I actually can't remember where the other ones are. Oh, there's one. There's lots though. It's actually there's heaps. There you go, no. Yeah, in here. Oh, one there. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, maybe Where shall I go? Down here? I'm gonna go back through the back of the level just in case. I can't believe I wasn't thinking of getting any of the first time, like when I was running through here. I'm an idiot. I'm an Egypt. Nothing here. Nothing around the corner, maybe. No, because I genuinely have not looked for these for so long, but I'm pretty sure there's one down here. And if there isn't. I'm forever ashamed. Oh, here we go. That's it. These ones. That's it. Skill point acquired. Very good. All right, now you know what I'm gonna do. Let's see what happens here. Ooh. Fascinating. So I've got the cheat on, by the way. Link is in the description to this. All right, let's, uh, what about old mate? Let's get out of here. I'm trapped. Oh, he just floats. Okay, cool. Agent 9. Again, just floats. You'll float too. Oh, dude, that's very glitchy. Oh my goodness me. Let me hop in. Yes, I am Spyro. <gasps> I'm in. Okay, that was amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy's glitching. Shout out Noel McDavid doing a uh, doing a, 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 a hack extravaganza to LP as well. All right, look at that. There we are. Bentley, get ready. <gasps> what is happening here? Brilliant. I just have to float to the top. It's like, it's legitimately. This is oh. I was gonna say this is legitimately just uh. What is going on? This is legitimately just it. Chapter one. You'll float too. Look, I'm just floating. All right, guys. Let's get out of here. Exit level. And let's go to the very first flight level of the game. Or should I say, should I say speed lane? Uh oh, another disturbed Spyro cutscene. Alright, back to Summer Forest. 
thanks to this SSD for loading this just comically quickly. I know you guys are thinking, what, are you cutting, are you editing? I'm not. All right. Wait a minute. So I've got everything, yep, there we go. Come over here. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have six talismans, this door will open. Yay. But I don't want to go there. I don't want it, I don't like it. And I don't have to do it. Not right now. Alright, let's go to Ocean Speedway as I camera it's too fast to even handle. Thank you. Lots of treasure. Alright guys, in the next part we're going to be doing Ocean Speedway. See you then.